Ultimate Fighter. 15 heavyweights descended upon the UFC training center. We got one more guy coming. Before Dana shocked everyone with a surprise introduction. Let's bring him in. I'm the bullseye. You know, if I got that target, more aim, shoot. Let's do this. Team Rashad won the coin toss and chose the first team pick. James and Swinney. Team Rampage gets to pick the first two matchups. I can always see the victories in our future. That's all I can see. Yo, perfect. Then, in the first preliminary fight, John Matson turned Abe Wagner's face into a bloody mess. Madsen. Earning the victory by unanimous decision and giving Team Rashad the first win. No, it really wasn't about Rampage, but it did feel good to be there. Up next, Team Rampage tries to even the score. Who will move one step closer to becoming the ultimate fighter? I thought about walking in and seeing all these big guys. It was a lot of meat in there. It's like, damn, some big mo I'm sure I'm going to fight next. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure of it. And that's what I'm coming with, America. That's what I'm coming with. I'm coming with, with, I'm coming with the knowledge knowing that I, I'm coming here to fight. I'm, I'm, I'm here to prove myself as the ultimate fighter. I think everyone would like to beat up Kimbo. I mean, me personally, I think it would be a good fight for me. The Kimbo one? I think it's a good matchup. Yeah. Styles make fights. I've been trying to get that one for years. You know, he's a he's a big name, um, and it that would be a headliner. Just you know, Roy Big Country Nelson versus Kimbo Slice anywhere. So you know, like this is a veteran. This is a veteran. Let's you know, and let just two veterans just kind of you know grind it out. <laughs> How y'all doing this morning? To be an ultimate fighter. It's an honor training with Rampage, you know what I'm saying? Not every day, you know what I'm saying? A person like myself would get to train with someone like a Rampage, you know? Someone who really would, you know, who really takes the time to him and his team. These guys really take the time and, and, and show me things. All right, guys, uh, get wrapped up. So everybody have a Kimbo Slice. Kimbo? We got specialness for you. We got specialness for you. But everybody know I was excited to get Kimbo, you know what I'm saying? I see, uh, I see myself and Kimbo a little bit like when I first started out fighting, so I'm trying to show him some things that worked for me. Yeah, there you go. Keep the head down. Push the head down. Wherever his head goes, he's going to go. Go to the hips. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. Everybody know what my strength is. America, you know what my strength is. Um, I'm learning a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm a sponge. You know what I'm saying? I want to learn as I go on. I'm here to learn as well as to fight. You gotta get used to it. You gotta get used to it. But at least now you know it, right? Yeah. You know what you gotta do. Right. Better than sitting there going, what the f am I gonna do? Being on my knees and being here and wondering, yeah, what do I do? Everybody know that they're gonna come out, come out to Kimbo. They're gonna put on one of their wrestlers or their jujitsu guys on Kimbo and try to take him down, take him out. Nice. Nice. The second one. <laughs> nice. 
Yeah. You learn fast, huh? It's like a sponge. Find that elbow, find the elbow, Kim. Yeah, there you go. That's four. That's four. Good job. I got a lot of faith in Kimbo. I think he he's a, he's a fast learner. He's, he's a hungry to learn, and he's very coachable. So we just preparing for the worst and getting Kimbo ready. I like the way you work hard, Kimbo Slice. Thank you very much, my face, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Team Shot has his first victory, and. Uh... We feeling good. You know, we feeling like, you know what? This is exactly, exactly where we need to be. You are in. Let's hit it. <laughs> what was most important for us is the mental. We wanted to make sure the guys that we picked for our team were mentally strong and had a good uh, ability to, to mold and, and take direction well. Hey, what's going on? Let's talk in. From your knees, start from your knees. What I don't want you guys to do is pull and guard. Start from your knees, knees, knees. I don't knees, want knees, you guys knees. pulling guard. I don't I want you guys to fight for the takedown. What? What's wrong? I don't do any throws to my knees. We go on 50 50 positions. Uh, I'd rather just. All right. Play. We're, we're going we're to flop up from the top to the bottom because one of us has to be on the bottom. But one of the guys, Roy, we felt was kind of, you know, joking around. And whenever we had something to say to him, he was kind of like, well, you know, well, I did it because of this. I did it because of that. And just really wasn't. You know, taking the criticism well, it just really wasn't listening. It was just really being hard to coach. You know, Roy, Roy is, you know, around my age, and he's probably been around the block a few times. And, I mean, this is this is old hat to him, so sometimes it can get redundant. But at the same time, I think he still needs to be respectful. I know, I know you don't need to disrespect, but it, it, it's, that's you. That's who you are. But the thing is, it's holding the other guys back. And at I'm the same time, you got to understand it's a game. And if I'm already in people's heads, then that's good for me. To, to me, to me, you're uncoachable. I, I look at you and I, I tell you things and everything's a big joke to you. When you're walking around and you're skipping, you're the only one that's not skipping. If you're not skipping, no one else is going to skip. My, my hamstrings are tight. What we're talking about is kind of, it's, it's how you are right now. Like, instead of, like, listening, listening sometimes, listening. you always have a rebuttal to something. No, and, I, and, and I, sometimes, and sometimes listen, it's good to have a rebuttal. Listen. But sometimes it's good to listen as well. I've been in this game for a very long time. Probably a lot longer. Long Honestly, long I long. feel like you want to work your own corner, and that's how I feel. I feel like you want to work your own damn corner. I feel like you want to do your own thing just by listening to you. Just by listening to you. That's just that's just my own feeling. I mean, if you want if you want to work in the corner and roll with yourself, we got bags over there you can roll with. Honestly, that's how I feel, Roy. Just listening to you, man. You you talk like it's a big game to you. This ain't a game. You can get hurt like a. You got 18 fights. You know you got knocked out by Arvalski. You got knocked out. Do you want that to happen again? Honestly. Do you want to get knocked out again? It's up to you. That's your choice. No, I do not. All right, then. Come in here. Keep it serious. If you don't want to be serious, I'm going to ask Rampage if he needs another guy. That's how I feel. I don't know how they feel. That's how I feel. Okay. Uh, it's like when two masters come together. You bring two masters together, and they throw their bag of, you know, their stuff out, and, they throw, and then the other master throws his other his bag of stuff out and you just pick what works really good together not just oh it's my way only you know if, it, if it's that way then you're gonna have a, it's gonna be a long road now, what's your name Roy this is Roy he looks small on his pictures Cool. And the second fight is James McSqueenle. How you say that? Sweetie. McSweetie. McSweetie versus Big Man over here, Wes. Me not liking Richard as much as I don't like him. I wanted to get his first pick out of there. Just get him out. That has nothing to do with strategy. It's all about just being mean. I feel it's a personal attack that Rampage is coming after my number one pick. You know, I'm like, the guy's tough. He has stand-up second to none on the competition, and I think he's going to just walk right all over the West Shivers. Y'all like this? I love this. Beautiful. That's beautiful. UFC. Sponsored by UFC 2009. Undisputed. The video game.
on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. You can go a long way with a smile. You can go a lot farther with a smile and a gun. Bang, bang, he shot me down. Bang, bang, I hit the ground. Bang, bang, that awful sound. Bang, bang, my baby shot me down, 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 down. What's this cheeky chappy doing? Well, looks to me like he's growing money. He's growing cash. That's normal. But hang on, something's brewing. It's strange, isn't it? How the financial world has changed, but the way we save hasn't. Oh, look what's happened there. But if you put your money in one of Barclays fixed term bonds and don't touch it, you're guaranteed a great return on your savings. Look at this. Look at the size of that. Man alive. Bonds from Barclays take one small step to a different way of saving. October 25th, Buenos Aires will be split in two. El Superclásico pits River Plate against Boca Juniors in a derby that electrifies the city. Right now, somewhere in the world is an opportunity to experience something remarkable. And to take you there, no one flies to more destinations direct from the UK than British Airways. Discover more at BA.com. New bold two-in-one gel. Can't you hear the waves are calling to me? Squeeze some sunshine into your Let's wash. Get away to the sea. I want you to be there. With the bright sunny fragrance of sparkling pomegranate and orange blossom. Come grab some sunshine. 65% more concentrated freshness in every gel drop. Bold two-in-one gel. If you're looking for the love of your life, you could try your luck on dating sites, or you could try something different. eHarmony. We're not a dating site, we're a relationship site. We go beyond the pictures and paragraphs to match you on the deepest dimensions of compatibility, like intellect and values. Things that form the foundation of successful long-term relationships. Let us help you find the love of your life. Go to eHarmony.co.uk, get started today and review all your compatible matches for free. Never miss an opportunity with new linked bullet pocket pulling power. Why do we play poker? For the rush? For the action? So that our hearts beat faster? To feel the heat? To reach for the top? To rise up from defeat? And to taste the thrill of victory? Find it all at pkr.com Let's play. Yes! Get in the game with Gillette Fusion Power. It has five blades spaced closer together to help reduce pressure with a feeling of even less irritation. Get Gillette's most comfortable shave, Fusion Power. Gillette's best shave ever. And now, get in the game with 50% off Gillette Fusion Gamer. If you run a small business, then you know... Whoop, there you go, you see that you spend half your time chasing payments around. Hmm, the closer you get, the further away. Now then, with a credit checking service from Barclays, every small business like yours can find out up front who's good for their money. So, go on, take the first step. There you are, you see? Yeah. Way too much. Ah, felt that. Credit focus from Barclays. Take one small step to improving your cash flow. 
Really I'm just gonna ask you a question. Okay, yes. I'm wondering. Wait, Billy. Oh. That's what I was wondering. You could earn 35k or more a year. Lying everybody about everything. Stop now, it's all for nothing. All your favorites from the numbers team return with a brand new target on their radar. Ridley and Tony Scott's Numbers, Season 4, Monday at 9 on USA. UFC, sponsored by UFC 2009, undisputed the video game. On Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. My name is James McSweeney and I fight out of Greg Jackson's team in Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, but originally from London, England. Being in Team Rashad uh, is an advantage for me because I feel that they know me so well. You know, I've been training their team now for nearly a year, so they know exactly what was the best game plan for me. Excellent. Uh, the reason why I fight, I, I never come from like a, a bad upbringing or like, you know, broken parents or nothing like that, you know. I think, I don't think, real fighters, I don't think they choose to fight. I think just fighting chooses them and, and that's kind of been the thing. And I'm at a point in my career now where like, I'm 28 and I've had fights and I've kind of come to the terms of this is what I was built to do. I'm fighting uh, Wes. I don't know much about him. I know this guy's big. He's like six foot nine, six foot ten. He's big up here. Yeah, he's gonna come. How big would you do like this? He can be maybe be aggressive. He maybe be very strong. And he may have a heavy punch. But with that size comes a lot of bad points too. Uh, he's gonna run out of steam. Uh, he, you know, he's very bulky. He's easy to read. I couldn't be more ready, you know. So, been been in camp with you before your fight, and I've had no time off. So. We work with some of the best in the game, man. You know, we work with some of the best coaches. You know, the best, so... You never come from a stable gym or, or the level of training that we have go through every day or the same calibre of fighters that I train with every day, you know? And he's going to find out. And it's not going to be pleasant for him at all. Sometimes sit around and imagine, and I'm not trying to be negative, but imagine that you something did happen like you lost and think how you feel. And let that be your experience for losing here. Chop, chop. Y'all on our time. When I come to the gym, I see Rashad's team still lounging on the mat, you know what I'm saying, and uh, just talking stuff they could have did in their office or whatever. You know, that's very disrespectful. I'm thinking about going over there and just pulling my pants out just far right on all their heads, just, just doing just a ghetto blast. Yeah, Rampage came in the one day we were doing our mental training at the end of it. And uh, he was mad because we kind of stepped on his timeline a little bit by five minutes. But his guys ain't going to do nothing but get in there, look in each other's face, and look stupid. I confronted Rashad nicely, gentleman-like, because everybody know I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm not the cocky one here. Hey, sir, I appreciate that you guys get out here on time. Hey, I understand that, man, but they had us here late. The lights was off. They said they're going to bring out here about 20, 35 minutes late. Yeah, they said they're going to have us here at 11.30. What time is it now? 11.35. <laughs> <laughs> well, they brought us here. We, we actually had the five minutes that, that we're taking right now. Mm -hmm. See, that's the five minutes that that uh, it took us to get our on, so. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Hey. I ain't got nothing to do with hey. how long it took you to get us hey, up hey, on. Hey. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do nothing anyway. Oh, we finna do something. I ain't gonna do nothing anyway. Yeah. Timmy. Rashad. Don't, Rashad, don't say nothing to me. Rashad, you already don't know, you already know your, first, your, first, your first round pick finna get up out of here. Hey, y'all need to get the hell up out of here. Hey, y'all need to get the hell up out of here. Hey, it's time, it's time for us to train. Good job. Y'all get the hell up out of here. Get the hell up out of here. It's our time. Get up out of here. We're gonna see. Yeah, we're gonna see. I had a big smile on my face. I said it real nice, joking around, but still kind of firm, because I, I don't want to start no fighting up in the road, you know. I don't want to have to drop him, you know, right before training and stuff like that. Let me get in shape first before I had to knock somebody out. Don't say nothing, Timmy. 
Don't take up my time no more. Don't say Don't do that. Jimmy. Don't take up Paige, my time no more. Paige, hey, don't, Paige, don't say nothing hey, to me. Hey, y'all need to be don't up out of here. Y'all need to be up out of here. When, it, when it comes time for me to train, y'all better not be lingering around. I don't need to see y'all guys up in there. Hey. Y'all need to get the hell up out of here. Quit trying to touch my ass. What's wrong with you? you see, me and Rampage relationship works like this. We joke around and joke around, and then next thing you know, it's the underlying, like, I want to punch you in the face type of joking around, you know? Like, you know, he's smiling, and then I say something to him, and then he say something to me, and then it's serious again, you know? So it, it, it's only a fake smile. Yeah, too. Wes Shivers from Brandon, Mississippi. I grew up, you know, just like most other kids do, you know, playing sports, football, baseball, and all. And, I got an opportunity a lot of people didn't get to do. I was drafted uh, by the Tennessee Titans. I stayed there through training camp. Uh, when camp was over, I was put on waivers and picked up by Atlanta. Um, things just didn't go my way in Atlanta. And when I departed with them, I decided to, uh, you know, that football wasn't the only thing I could do. You know, I wanted to get on with my life outside of football. I see you got surgery on you. Titanium, yeah. whole shoulder. Except from American football. Yeah. Yeah, my, my freshman year of college, I tore my shoulder. And, and you know what got me serious into this? Is my doctor looking at us and said, Wes, I'm to tell you, you'll never do anything athletically again. For me to be sitting in this chair right now doing this interview, you know, under the circumstances, I think the good Lord's been looking out for me. Fighting James McSweeney and, uh, I just don't think that his weapons that he's going to approach me with are going to do enough damage to stop me. You know, I'm 6'7". I'll, I'll probably be fighting about 270 when we step in the cage. And, uh, you know, when I get, get somebody on the end of one of my punches, there's a lot of power behind it. What the game plan is, is when he tries to throw leg kicks, I'm going to counter with a straight right. You know, straight right's hard. If he can stand up after a couple of them, well, you know, he's he's a big man. Hey, he does a, he got a traditional Muay Thai. Whenever you feel like it, take him down and smell him. Because his ground is dead. This is the ultimate fighter. We're here to win. It ain't all about no ego, no pride. You know, I don't care if you beat him up or, or you take him down to me. I just want you to beat him. You, you're mentally strong. You got it in there. You got it in you. Just believe in yourself. Now, you know you can beat this guy. You don't move his ass. That's it. Rampage picking me to be one of the first fights, considering James McSweeney was Rashad's first pick. It, it, made, it makes me feel great. You know, Rampage obviously has confidence enough in me to go out there and rattle their team up. You know, shake them up, you know. The, the guy that they didn't want comes in here and knocks out their number one seed. And, uh, man, I'm looking forward to it. And I'm uh, looking to come out on top. You got it, Mike. You got it, Matt. Chemistry on Team Rashad is, is really good, man, you know, because they're going to need to lean on each other right now to go through what they're going through. And uh, having a good team camaraderie and good brotherhood is going to make it that much easier for them to excel. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Keep it going. We're here in Las Vegas in the Ultimate Fighter yeah. Gym. And this whole thing is set up for chaos. Elbows to your knees. But at the same time, I think and I, I think we instilled the team concept uh, in this team as much as possible in this situation. Royce, to me, seems like a self-made fighter. But sometimes you want to learn from uh, other people's mistakes. And I think Roy has learned that. And I think he truly understands that we could help him. Uh, become the best that he could be during the show. One, time. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Now get your hands up. Get your hands up. Hands up. Let's think vicious. Let's think with bad intentions. Let's think about making examples so nobody else want to fight you. That's what it's going to take. You guys chose the hardest road to get into the UFC. I don't care what nobody say. This is the hardest road. Who's going to do what they got to do to make sure they are there? That's up to you guys. What do you think about Weston's fight? You know, as long as he fights like he trains, stays light and fast and 
keep his head about him. He should be all right. You know, James is, you know, he, he's over, had over 100 something uh, kickboxing matches, but I think uh, having to deal with uh, uh, Wes's uh, length and his uh, tenaciousness and his punching power, that's a tall order to handle. Wes hits him with a nice, clean, you know, straight, solid right. I mean, even if he's just gonna knock him backwards, even if it doesn't knock him out, you know? Wes is big, man. Uh, Wes walks around about 285, so I see Wes uh, getting him up against the cage, pulling him down, ground and pounding him. Say second round stoppage. He's like 280 and James is like, what, 230? I would just, I would just drag him down. If he can do that, man, he'll be fine. If not, it's gonna be a long day. got nothing against James but when you step in the cage and you shut that door my mindset changes I mean it's 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 all about survival for me I mean I need this you know I, I have nothing to go on to right now other than people care about me you know I'm basically putting everything on the line for this opportunity is what it comes down to <laughs> I got a message for Wes, you know, we, we shared his house together and we've spoken and we've been nice and we've been friendly because we were out to get along, but now the game changes today. And uh, if I was Wes, really, um, like I said, he's coming to an environment he's not prepared for. That's it. Oh, God, I'm a killing today. <laughs> Hesitate, don't wait in this fight. Do your thing. Might be the last fight he ever fought, man. Never fight again. Go. No. Tell me what he's doing. Once that cage closes, oh my God. There ain't nothing fun about fighting James this week. UFC. Sponsored by UFC 2009 Undisputed, the video game. On Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Hot chocolate sauce. Hot pasta sauce. Mm. Hot date. But a cold wash. New Aerial XL Gel. It's a unique new gel specially designed from scratch to give outstanding cleaning from as low as 15 degrees. And it's now been awarded a Witch Best Buy Laundry Detergent January 2009. New Aerial XL Gel. Outstanding cleaning from as low as 15 degrees. Now that's brilliant. For barbecue boneless bites, barbecue beans, fries and drink. The new KFC Barbecue Beast Box Meal. Did you know you only need to feed me this much I am's every day? But you'd have to feed me up to four of these. Gram for gram, I am's has more high quality nutrition. But do check the label, because I can't read. I'm more than just a cat. I am an I am's cat. Big eyes, high impact. With Max Factor's Masterpiece Max, their best volumizing formula and flexible brush combine for up to 400% volume with high definition. Max your eyes. Think big. Think beautiful. Masterpiece Max from Max Factor. Winner of 20 beauty awards, Masterpiece Collection now introduces new Masterpiece Eyeshadow. Go online for the looks. From Max Factor. Hello. Terrible weather, isn't it? I know. It's miserable. Hello, love. Hi. Because it has a unique residue prevention formula, Flash One for All leaves fewer visible streaks versus some cheap sprays. So you can get a brilliant shine. Flash One for All. Brilliant shine. If you're driving a car that's no longer under warranty, you could find repairing it gets very expensive. Don't leave it to chance. Warranty Direct offers you comprehensive cover at a competitive price. Go to warrantydirect.co.uk and get a quote now. It might just save you a fortune. So if your warranty is about to expire or your car is no longer protected, make sure you're covered. For instant protection, call Warranty Direct on 0800 731 7001 or visit warrantydirect.co.uk. If you're looking for the love of your life, you could try your luck on dating sites, or you could try something different. eHarmony. 
We're not a dating site. We're a relationship site. We go beyond the pictures and paragraphs to match you on the deepest dimensions of compatibility, like intellect and values, things that form the foundation of successful long-term relationships. Let us help you find the love of your life. Go to eharmony.co.uk. Get started today and review all your compatible matches for free. Almost 140 years ago, we started our local hospital Saturday funds. Back then, there was no NHS, and that bothered us. So we asked ordinary people to chip in a little every week to make an extraordinary difference. For simple ways of providing towards your medical insurance and everyday healthcare needs, go to simplyhealth.co.uk and bother us. Simply Health. We can be bothered. Belong together. So don't break up. Keep it looking full and thick with head and shoulders, hair endurance. One second I was in a car, the next. We all lost consciousness, everyone. were not asleep, they were not dreaming. What is it that they were experiencing? Memories of events that haven't been cool yet. Everyone's consciousness just jumped forward six months. Crazy and sounds, yeah. I saw a glimpse of my future and everything has changed for me now. What did you see? I was with another man. Those people, the places, they were part of this puzzle. Sponsored by UFC 2009 Undisputed, the video game. On Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Go, Miss Sydney. Go, Miss Sydney. Go, Big Red. I'm not saying I'm going to go out there to hurt him, to hurt James, um, you know, but it happens. Let's go, Rash, come on, baby, let's go. It's time. It's time, do you hear that? It's time. Let them know, baby. Let them know. Let him know something. Let them know something, baby. Let them know something. Let them know something. He's never, never met no one like me before or with what I can do. And if I was him, I would really, th th really think about whether he wants this or not. Come on! If he doesn't, he should go home. Now. Save himself a lot of pain. Let's go, James. That's it, James. You're the bigger man here. You fight like a bigger man. Take a little ass out. All right, it's the second preliminary fight. This fight is two five-minute rounds. At the end of the second round, the judges declare it a draw. We go to sudden victory. The winner of that round wins the fight. Good luck, guys. Look at the Make him pay. All right, gentlemen. Now bring it on. Come on. Let's do it. Let's go on there. Right straight. Get it ready. Stay low with him, James. That's 
Just relax. Come on, you know doing. Come on, guys. Great fight. Let's keep it James, clean, all right? James, all right? James, you good? James Bring it on!
UFC, sponsored by UFC 2009 Undisputed, the video game. On Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. The sniper has once again struck in downtown Miami. Hunting them, they'd never leave the house. The Nissan Micra with new Nissan Connect. Adaptive sat-nav, Bluetooth, MP3, all-in-one. Simple. Pixo, Micra, Note, Nissan City Cars. Welcome to Simplicity. At Vision Express, we really put your eyes through their paces. We have over 100 different ways to test your eyes to make sure they're at their healthiest. Pop into Vision Express today or book an eye exam at visionexpress.com. Oi, oi, what's this cheeky chappy doing? Looks to me like he's growing money. He's growing cash. That's normal. But hang on, something's brewing. It's strange, isn't it, how the financial world has changed, but the way we save hasn't. Oh, look what's happened there. But if you put your money in one of Barclays' fixed-term bonds and don't touch it, you're guaranteed a great return on your savings. Look at this. Look at the size of that. Man alive. Bonds from Barclays take one small step to a different way of saving. Start. Start up more than games. Start a home entertainment revolution. Start streaming your music video playlist with VidZone. Start catching up on the latest programs on BBC iPlayer. Start Blu-ray movies in high definition. Start seeing more detail than ever before. Start getting more from your games console. The new PlayStation 3 for $249.99. The game is just the start. It takes time to make the M burger, from carefully preparing whole cuts of beef to perfecting the emmentile and even stone baking the ciabatta. Time, care and attention. That's what makes the M. That's what makes McDonald's. Miss an opportunity with new linked bullet pocket pulling power. Why do we play poker? For the rush? For the action? So that our hearts beat faster? To feel the heat? To reach for the top? To rise up from defeat? And to taste the thrill of victory? Find it all at pkr.com Let's play. If you're looking for the love of your life, you could try your luck on dating sites, or you could try something different. eHarmony. We're not a dating site, we're a relationship site. We go beyond the pictures and paragraphs to match you on the deepest dimensions of compatibility, like intellect and values. Things that form the foundation of successful long-term relationships. Let us help you find the love of your life. Go to eHarmony.co.uk, get started today and review all your compatible matches for free. January sales, bargain. Second hand shop, Swansea, bargain. Gallery, Cardiff, quite the few bob actually, still a bargain mate. Want free content insurance with your building's insurance? Go direct. Get the Aviva deal. Pixo Micro Note. The Micro Range from 5995 with scrappage saving. Simple. You damn spy! You're a traitor! Spent two years lying to everybody about everything. So now it's all for nothing. Expect something to happen during the transfer. Let me escape from jail. All of your favorites from the numbers team return.
Do we, in fact, think that Colby is a traitor? That's all it's about. Do we? With a brand new target on their radar. Lesson number one. You can't lie. I don't bluff. You're rolling ten. Ridley and Tony Scott's Numbers, Season 4, Monday at 9 on USA. UFC, sponsored by UFC 2009, Undisputed, the video game. On Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Hey, check those, check those kicks and answer back, okay? You can, if you win in this round, you win the fight. Wes, check this out, homie. I want you to move forward. I need you to throw these bombs. James, listen. Stay fundamental, okay? Follow just beat him. Just beat him with the basics. The jab is working good. Fundamental. Sure work. Don't make it complicated. Move forward. You're tall and you're long. Follow the way you're from. The way you kick you, okay? You got it. Make work is tired, James. Make him work tired. He's tired. We're just warming up. All right, guys. Second round. Bring it on. Come on. Go. Work that jab. Work that jab. And move it. Face to face. Move away from him with those hips. Push him away. Push him away. Keep going. 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 Keep going.
Punch, 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 punch him. Stop. Awesome, guys. James, get up. We might have another round, guys. Hey, James. Get ready for another round. No more high kicks, baby. We don't need it. Hey, Wes. Do you want this? Yes. Breathe. Breathe. You think mentality get up. Look at him. Hey, get up. You think mentality and you break him. You think mentality and you break him. Get up. Three, three, no, 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 three, no,
As y'all know, Team Rashad won the first two fights, like I said we would. And now it's my turn to pick. With my selection, pick my boy Roy. And on the other team, I want the big black buck with the greasy beard, Kimbo Slice. Rashad is immediately going after Kimbo. And Roy Nelson absolutely positively has more well-rounded skills than Kimbo Slice. Kimbo Slice is explosive and can absolutely catch Roy Nelson and knock him out dead. So this is this is the true test for Kimbo Slice. That you know, we're gonna find out right now what he's got. I knocked his out. I'm not gonna fight his big ass. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not a mixed martial artist. I'm not, I'm not a man. I'm not that. I'm a fighter. I'm gonna fight him. I'm gonna fight him. Win or lose, I'm gonna fight him. On the next episode of The Ultimate Fighter, it's the moment of truth for Kimbo Slice as he scrambles to get ready for grizzled veteran Roy Big Country Nelson. I was supposed to fight you, but your boy stepped up. The smack talking continues, but this time, James McSweeney backs up Rashad. You want to give a I think a grown ass man. We can do whatever we want. Then, Get ready for the biggest fight in the history of the Ultimate Fighter. Will former IFL champion Roy Nelson use his size to flatten Kimbo? Or will Slice prove once and for all that he's more than just a backyard brawler? I can't wait to see it. Can you wait to see it? Go, Who will move one step closer to becoming the next Ultimate Fighter? <laughs>